What up, guys? Your boy Quake, and we're back with a brand new episode of the Diverse Mentality Podcast. And today we got a special guest, man. Fly Rich Double is in the building, and his manager Law. What up? Hey, what's, what's that? Name? What's going on? How's it going, man? And then we got Vito, co-host. Yes, sir, man. Yeah. Um, how you guys been, man? So far, what's everything going on in Atlanta? Are you guys visiting? I know he's got a distribution deal. We'll talk about a little bit later. But how's everything going? Amazing, man. You know, I just love to come out here and just show my face because Atlanta is so welcoming. You know? Yeah, for sure, man. Definitely. I hear that a lot, man. Yeah, Atlanta, that's the thing. That. The thing is about Atlanta that I love is that artists, you know, up, up bring each other, you know. Everybody yeah. everybody's lovable here. Like, they don't, they don't, in New York, there's always hate yeah. between the two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got Cali, same shit. Yeah. But that's why Atlanta's on top still. Yeah. And that's what people miss. Even in Florida, a lot of people, a lot of artists put, you know, it's the, it's, the, it's the southern soul. Exactly. Yep. Yeah, and Atlanta. you coming from Mississippi, you know. Exactly. Atlanta is like, oh, you got his hard song? Let's make another one. They yeah. fuck with it. No, you know? real talk. And that's real how talk. Lil Baby, too. Lil Baby was in the streets, and then they brought him out. And, yep. you know, Gucci's been helping out a lot of people, too. But, oh, yeah. yeah, that's the beauty of Atlanta, man. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So you're the blueprint. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, the blueprint. And that's why they're dominating, yeah, man. Yeah, People would just pay yeah. attention, man. They don't pay attention. Man, but man. you're out of Batesville, Mississippi. That's correct. Yeah. Um, how is it first growing up there? Because I know Mississippi, we're out of Iowa because we get we had a war <laughs> in our country. So we got randomly put in Iowa. So I know the kind of country lifestyle over there. They got like cornfields. And, and yeah. yeah, so I'm uh, familiar with it, but not 100%. <laughs> so how is it in Batesville? It's rural. You know, it's not like... Everywhere is, is yeah. country and fields and cornfields. Yeah, like, that's everybody got, says that. Yeah, you got buildings and shit too. But yeah. for the most part, it, it's very country. But you know, it's sweet. Yeah, you know, you struggle, but it's not that bad when you realize when yeah. you get some money. It's like, damn, I still got these same problems with money. You feel me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. When you was broke, you like, damn, I wish I had some money. You <laughs> finally get some money, you like, damn. Yeah. I wish I had some peace now, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, no, nah, man. That, that is always something, man. <laughs> no, just people pop up out of nowhere, man. Yeah, man. They pop up out of nowhere, man. It's family crazy. members, you got new family members you never even knew. Man, man what? <laughs> Coming out the blue. Out the blue, it's like, dang. Yeah, so what were your influences in terms of, like, music growing up there? Because it's obviously not an area that a lot of people know about. Yeah, okay. I had, I had an older brother. He mm -hmm. liked to do music. You know, I wasn't really into music when I was growing up. I was a little gamer dude. Yeah. I like to play Call of Duty all day in my room and shit. But, yeah. You know, I seen my brother doing it. He was so passionate about it. I'm like, man, I'm going to do it too just because shit, anybody can do it. Let's let's try it. You feel me? Yeah. So the artists, what, what artists were you listening to growing up though? Since Because uh, your brother introduced you, I'm assuming. And that's yeah. how I got into My sister was the older one, so she introduced me to music. Yeah. You know, I got into 50, Jeezy. You know, game, yeah. Ti, all the early two thousands, because <laughs> that's all I really fuck with, honestly. Because yeah. that was that was just my era that I really loved. Now you just read my mind. I was yeah. about to say Fifty and Jeezy. Yeah. So sure. yeah. when I was younger, I used to call myself Mike Jeezy. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Jeezy. Yeah. Mike yeah. Jones. Is that a play on Mike Jones? <laughs> Mike Jones too. Yeah. yeah I'm like who? Mike Jones. Yeah. <laughs> I fuck with Mike. I talk to him frequently. He's pretty cool, man. He's he's been chilling. He's been doing a lot of dope things, man. That's good. So, that's you know. Good. Yeah. Mike is. Yeah. He's. He's figuring out a lot of like investing, like a millionaire. He's yeah. been transitioning off, you know, and that's that's the important thing. Reinventing yourself, you yep. know. A lot of people think they fall off, and you know, it's nah, man. They some of them are smart. And they know what they're doing with their money. Yeah. yeah. So so in Batesville, yeah. So mainly, you know, Eminem, maybe Fifty, Drake. Have you had a Drake influence yeah, too? Yeah, like Drake too. Yeah. So you ever incorporated mixing, uh, singing, rapping? Did you try singing first, rapping, or what was the the formula? I got this little cadence that I do singing and rapping at the same yeah. time, you know? So it's a mixture of singing and rapping, like harmonies and stuff like that. But yeah. I can do it all. You can give me a gospel song, I got yeah. drop on that. You yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's versatile. good, man. Yeah, you got to be versatile, man. <laughs> Definitely, man. That's you, very important. When you can do both, man, rap and sing at the same time, that's beautiful. That's, oh, very, yeah, that's hard that's to do, man. It's the key to it because yeah. when, you, when you just do one thing and you see them comments like, can he do something else? Like, man. All it sound the same, so mm -hmm. I try to hit them from all different angles and keep them guessing, yes. you know. And that's why yours is different, man. When I was listening yeah. to music, it was something totally different. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and that's important, man. That's what stands out. A lot of people, man, they're just been following. And I think Tory Lanez tweeted this about a week ago. He was like, "Man, all the music just sound the same. People just gotta come up with something different." Yeah. And the, honestly, the people that are coming with something different, they died. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Juice World, Pop Smoke, 
Nipsey was delivering more of that business yeah, savvy yeah. talk. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, so it's like the ones that were really making an impact with different sounds, they ended up passing away. Right. So it's like, you know, now somebody else needs to come in. And honestly, your your style, how you're transitioning right now from two different styles, yeah. is something I haven't seen at all in a while. So I would definitely keep going and trying to figure out different which what's working more, but obviously mix it in, you know, because Kendrick Lamar is a good example. Yep. He's got every album sounds different. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can't pick up. There's not a single album that sounds the same. Right. And it's hard to do. Don't get me wrong. As an artist, you know, it's a risk. Yeah, it's you know? very hard. It's fans, not easy. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's not easy. You got to put in work, man. It takes a lot of time to do all that thinking, I'm telling you. Yeah. No, I mean, fans plus two, you get like, you'll build a certain fan base. And that's all they want is that kind of music. And yeah. then you deliver something else. I get the same shit with my content. You got them diehard fans that want the same thing. Then you got the fans in the middle that want you to do something new. Yeah. yeah. And then you got these other fans that don't really like you but come check on you anyway. Yeah. <laughs> That's the worst. Like, weird, bro. Like, what is you What is you want me? You come on here just to hate on me? Like, yeah. Come on, man. That's the internet, man. Yeah, man. It's crazy. Anything that they see, man, That's because th- there's no faces, you know, attached to it, man. I love it, though. You know, yeah. you always want to have some kind of impact. Like, it either be a bad impact or a good impact. Yeah. Because good impact, they still viewing it. Exactly. They're still getting paid. But if they don't care about it, no money, I ain't clicking it. Exactly. Know, a reaction is the most important. Yeah, so if, they, sure. if they hate my music, I tell them, man, go share it with your family. Show them how much you hate it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they were look yeah. yeah. you know yeah. looking at Facebook, and they were realizing, you know, there's a back end on Facebook that they were realizing that the more things that people hated, the more they reacted to it. Yep. Yeah. So it's like you got to kind of create some sort of thing that people are like, you know, a little bit upset about. Questioning. Yeah. Uh, like quick know. to share that. Look at this. What is he doing? Yeah. <laughs> now you got a thousand views that quick. You know what I'm saying? It's easy, man. People just don't, I don't know, the formula, they don't <laughs> get it sometimes. But yeah, it's just it. But yep, in my tractor. So before we get into that, though, how, <laughs> how, how did this even come about? What was the thought process? Because that's so out there. And I like it because it's different. You yeah, know, you got to have something different, you know. Yeah, yeah. So what, first off, how, like, what even made you get into music? And then on top of that, what was the thought process of getting into that? What was the first track? Was that the first track you ever recorded? Nah, 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 nah. Nah, okay. I, caught, I recorded a lot of them, but, you know, it didn't really go that far. Yeah. I did that being playful. Back to what you said, like, at my influences, I like the cheap key. So Yeah. He had that song, Love Sosa. Yeah. And I got on the track, like. I would want to make something like in that same cadence. And, yeah. And I was doing these little skits of like acting like a country person. That, <laughs> and they was reacting to it. I was getting a lot of views. I'm like, what if I can put this in the song and see what it do? So I did that. And I went to sleep, woke up. It was like, like, look at all these views. Like, what in the world? That's crazy. Wow. You know? yeah. We had to go drop it, get the beat remade so we can get some money off it. Like, Damn. we went through so much stuff, man. And, I would have made way more money if I would have knew if it was going to take off like that because yeah. we had all those views unaccounted for, you see what I'm saying? Damn, man. Yeah, it, we still did. Good. I mean, it, it, that's a learning thing, you know? Yeah, it's hard. Yeah, yeah. When we drop, it was but more so on. commentary, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, we didn't, we, we weren't taking this serious because he, he called me, he was like, because <laughs> I got a song. I was like, what? <laughs> like, what you, what you talking about? What you got? He was like, you going to like this one. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm on the phone. I was like, send it to me. And so he sent it to me, you know, and I, I heard it. I was like, man, ain't no way you just made this. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. so, you know what I'm saying? Like, we was taking it as a joke. But then, like I say, he dropped it. And then, like, once he dropped it, like, within the daytime, like, it went viral. Then the numbers just Damn. kept, like, shooting up, shooting up, shooting up. So, you know, that's why he said, hey, we went back in the lab. You know what I'm saying? They actually dropped the real thing. And then, I mean. Was it sampling something? That was. No, was nah, it wasn't no out. sampling. It was just, like. We made that song like two minutes. Yeah, <laughs> like it was, it was just yeah. like hey, it was something quick. Like that's how hits even, come, man. Yeah, that's, yeah, so. that's what I was about to say, man. Sometimes when you're just messing around, goofing around, or stuff man. like that, and then yeah. boom, something like comes that. out. Like yep. the verses was just straight freestyle, like one. Thing. Yeah, <laughs> I ain't go back and fix nothing. I just one took the. That's whole the feeling, shit. man. Yeah. It was like just flowing. I'm like, man, I gonna be, I gonna be hard. <laughs> yeah, man. and I put this little meme on it like a cowboy dance. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, man, that's about to flow. Yeah, and I dropped it. And it was like, damn, look at that. It just yeah. went up, like, from, from the time I dropped it. Because I had already, like, gave him sneak peeks of it before I dropped it. I yeah. was like, drop that, drop that. 
So when I dropped it, the number ran up instantly. I'm like, man, wow. that's crazy. Overnight, man. That's yeah. you woke yeah. up and saw that. That's crazy. Yeah. No, that I know that like, you know, I do YouTube, so I kinda know that feeling when something blows up. Yeah. You know, I've had like videos oh, overnight yeah. just get three million views. I'm right. like, damn, that shit is crazy. I'm gonna tell you how it happened. Like I had this guy named Famous Amos. He shared it. Yeah. And and I woke up and seen that he shared it. After that, I'm like, I look, I wake up, I had like ten thousand new followers on Instagram. I'm like, what? It was just still just every time I refresh, 20 yeah. more, 40 Damn. more, 100 more, 40 more. I'm like, Damn. Damn. I go Shit. look. And he done posted it. And after he posted it, more people posted it. And I'm like, man, and then academics posted it. Yeah. And then when it, when he posted it, it went stupid. It went crazy. Yeah, wow. academics platforms huge. So, yeah, definitely. Yeah. If they, yeah, if they, I mean, it's all about what, you know, who it gets into, whose hands it gets into, you know. And right. I wonder how, did you ever ask him how he ran into that? Nah. I think it was just most of around like like thousands of people just sharing it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So he just seen it and he just shared it on his page. And like yeah. I said, when he did that, <laughs> it just like went through the roof. Damn. And so so famous Amos, you know, uh, he's from from Memphis. You know, mm-hmm. so he do like this commentary, the comedian like be dancing everywhere he yeah. going and stuff like that. So um, to his point, we added him to the video. You know what I'm saying? So that kind of helped. That's Elder good. And stuff went like crazy. that. Yeah. It went crazy. Like the screaming numbers, the platforms, like like everything we was putting it on was just going through the roof. So, I mean, you know, like I said, you know, he he had a song that he he didn't speak about that that he that was buzzing before he dropped that uh before he dropped the track the song. So, um, the funny story is that that's really like so we family, right? But I, what was uh Kasho? Yeah, you know what I'm saying what was the name of the song? Um, I can't think. The, uh, with no more. Yeah, the song called No More. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I went up, because uh, I've been gone from, from the area of probably about, you know, 15, 16 years or so. Yeah. So, I came back and um, coming to a car show or whatever, and he would perform at the car show. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I heard the song. It's called No More. Um, so, I'm listening, I'm listening. I'm like, man, that shit hard. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. So, you know, I'm like, Oh, so I wait, wait till he got off stage, you know what I'm saying? I'll talk to him, whatever. And, uh, you Man, know, I, I'm. This how he came to me. What's yeah. up? I'm your cousin. <laughs> <laughs> Let me yeah. manage you. Right. I told yeah. him, let's do it. Uh, <laughs> that's, I was going to ask, how did y'all meet up, you know? Yeah. And, yeah. So, <laughs> that is dope. So, like, my, my, my mom and, you know, his mom, like, my mom, you know, saying she, she's a British or whatever, so she do hair. So, my mom was already, like, doing his mom hair and stuff. So, yeah. like, I mean, I knew we was family, but you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I hadn't been around, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So like when I was around there, like he was smaller, you feel what I'm saying? So he had, was like 18 when that, that No Mo song, you know yeah. what I'm saying, like took off. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, you know, I knew he was my family. It's just I just wasn't there, you know what I'm saying, to yeah. be around, you feel me? So yeah. I was just really just almost it was like a, a reintroduction, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> yeah. you know, your cousin, huh? you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then, like, you know, it's it just been for them, like, and our bond, you know what I'm saying, our loyalty towards one another had changed, you know what I'm saying, yeah. since that day. So, That's important, yeah. Yeah, so, Definitely. I mean, at the end of the day, like, you know, he know, you know, I back him, he back me. So, we just putting this thing together and, you know, we, we're not going to stop. We're going to continue to do what we got to do, you know what I'm saying, put in that work. Like, yeah. consistency is the key. Exactly. So, That's the most important. Yeah. Right? Sure. So, that's exactly what you know we own. That's why we out here in the A. You know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah. So y'all moving, I mean, man. Yeah, yeah, everywhere yeah. I'm seeing everywhere. Yeah, That's yeah. important. We're, we've been in Vegas, Cali. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, just just like to your point, man. We just just networking. You know what I'm saying? Trying to basically get the face out. Like a lot of people know his music. Like a thousand, thousand people know his music. I mean, even like the platform shows. Like you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like yeah. with the, the screaming. Like yeah. you know. I mean, I ain't gonna I ain't gonna screen the numbers out of what he got right now for it as on on this the the strategy, but yeah. like just year to date, this the number just for strategy is like insane. So, yeah. um, you know, we're just gonna keep dropping music, man. Like, I mean, he, gotta do he got it. like I said, he got he got tons tons of catalog. You know, we can pull from shoot videos. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, we're gonna drop another video here in about two three weeks. You know, so like I said, just uh-huh. being consistent. You know? Yeah, yep, that's important. Definitely. Oh yeah, man. Man, that's, the crazy thing is, is I was like, how'd you guys even link up, like, you knowing Miami Mike? You know, did you guys, once the song blew up, did the industry start reacting and you guys started talking to more industry people? Or was it gradually, you know, you had to get out there, show your face, 
or was it just automatic because so, of the track blowing up? So we got automatic. we got two we got two backstories about you know what I'm saying knowing Miami. Um, That's how I linked up with you. Yeah, so then yeah. he linked me up with us. So so yeah. like with with Miami, you know, I I've been on him. You know what I'm saying for a while. Um, actually, like my my uh, granddad is married to you know what I'm saying his sister. Oh damn! Yeah, man. yeah. So I've been knowing him for a while. Like even when he was locked up or whatever. Like you know they just call him Miami Miami Mike. You know? Yeah. Um, so like I've been knowing him because obviously you know he ain't that much older than me. But yeah. He kind of like he family. You feel what I'm saying? So um, he didn't know that I was managing. You know, fly. Um, you know everything start. You know going accordingly. He was like, man, you you, you been managing? Him? I said, yeah, yeah. So you know what I'm saying. Even though we from a small town. You know what I'm saying? Everybody still just kind of do their own thing. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So, my respect to, you know, the people that went before us. Like, we ain't, we ain't here to, you know what I'm saying, pull any, anything away from them. Yeah. You important. know what I'm saying? So, but but what I'm going to say is, like, at the end of the day, like, we, we know what's important. We know what it takes to get there. And, you know what I'm saying? It's just been good energy ever since, you know what I'm saying? He he know that we've been linked. So, you know, that's my backstory. you know what I'm saying, about him. Um, you know, I'm, I'm actually part of his team. You know, I, I do a couple of things for him or whatever. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, it's all good. There was a lot of people there. <laughs> that night was, yeah, it was all over. But definitely yeah. linking with you, I was like, okay, he's got something going. And, you know, show, he showed your music. And I was like, all right. And you were, honestly, you were the, the least um, – backing off you know because like yeah. we we're linking with people but it was like a little bit more low-key and then they were like you were chilling with us a lot more and right. it was just dope vibe you know and that's the thing yeah. you know that we caught on the first you know first meeting everybody yeah um, man you know I, I i do i do a whole lot of less talking and a whole lot of moving yeah you know yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah you know yeah, so play. shout out to miami mike man yeah, yeah. no, real no he just randomly because i was gonna have him do the interview of the podcast but yep. he was like i'm in houston yep. and i was like he's like pull up i was like I just talked to Phil. I was like, man, <laughs> all right, let's just go. When the fuck we just went there and then, yeah, it was crazy, man. That yeah. was a crazy night. Was a I'm surprised night. you didn't pull up. You didn't show up. I You're doing other out, things. <laughs> You're out. Out. Call of Duty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I was it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, sometimes you know every schedule gets you know hectic and stuff like that. But yeah, it was last minute. So after that record, you know, does what it does. What's what's the move after that? Because I know it's it's a lot of pressure at that point because you're getting, you know, millions and millions of views, that's 16 million at this point. So, you know, what's, what's, what are you guys thinking next? Is there pressure to come up with the next record or what is, what is the next thought after that? Cause you're like, shit. I uh, know. Nah, see me, I was ready to keep on going. Yeah. Like, bang, 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 keep dropping. But I had a different manager, you know, rest in peace to him, but he was yeah. going the old fashioned route. He wanted us to wait, like let the record keep building. He didn't want us yeah. to drop no more mu new music. Yeah. And I was all against it. I'm like, man, we need to keep yeah. dropping while I got the momentum. Because, you know, these new day age, they short, you know. As soon as they see something this week, next week they on something else. So you got to keep pounding. Yeah. So that's what I'm doing now. Yeah. Transition from that. I'm I'm straight pounding from now on. Like, yeah. like young boy, like every week. Damn. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, you got to, yeah. Like, that's, people, man, NBA young boy, I, I don't understand it. I really <laughs> don't, man. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. Every week. Man. Like 10 million, 20 million, 30 million. I'm like, this guy's, yeah. and even when, he's, even when he's locked up, yeah. it's still music coming yeah, out. Yeah, he, he got cow He hit that Lil Wayne yeah. formula yeah. where it's yeah. just, you got to flood it like that, man. Yeah. And yeah, that's 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 the most most important route, I think, in terms of blowing up. Lil Nas X, so he blows up. You know, you're the, I think you're obviously the first one to do it. How did you feel about Lil Nas X blowing up from that country route and then doing the memes? You know, because he, he put, the way he blew up was putting, music behind his memes too mm -hmm. and then that's how i caught on to it because i was like what the fuck is this and then kept putting memes i put the same way you did it yeah so he followed my formula yeah that's you what know? i'm saying i'm like so what do you think about you know the route that he's taken in terms of music and do you think he kind of saw what you did and just kind of took his different side of things or what yeah he, he jumped on it and he and he did great like, yeah he used it and he seen what i did and, and he executed like yeah i'm not mad at the guy he went crazy like yeah, when he when he first dropped Old Town Road, I was trying to remix it before it blew up because I knew it was coming. I knew it. I love the honestly, I like country hip hop, man. Even yeah. the guitars too. It just it's something like yeah. Post Malone did with that record, uh, Go Flex, I think it was. Yeah, he has like a guitar behind it. I just love that Nelly type yeah. of style. I like that style, man. That's I don't cold. know. It's yeah, cold. it's just it's smooth, man. It's something different too, man. We don't hear that as often. Right. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's that's why like your record blew up, his blowing up because it's it's different, man. People yeah. need something different. 
You got to be different. Yeah, so I don't, I don't know. But that, that shit was crazy when that blew up, too. But um, the Hick Hop album. So how did that? That's EP. I call it EP. I know right. you guys call Because a certain it, amount it, of tracks. Yeah, yeah EP. Yeah, yeah, I'm more yeah. technical, you yeah, know? Yeah. So the EP, what, what's the strategy in dropping that at that time? What was after the record blows up? Did you just go full theme country? Yeah. And you just decided to go that route? I was going to run with it. Until I ran out of ideas, like, <laughs> I'm like, man, I don't really, I don't really just be living like this. <laughs> <laughs> so I can't just come up with everything. Like I'm like, dang. You ever had like rednecks just come up and be like, yo, I fuck with this record. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I seen a guy. He's like, you fly rich double. I'm like, yeah. And <laughs> <laughs> diesel trucks falling yeah. out. <laughs> no, like, yeah. I think what was in, uh, we had a show in, um, um, was it Pennsylvania? I was in Kentucky. It was like some like mud show, like Indiana. Indiana, yeah. So we had a show in Indiana, man. And man, I'm telling you, it was like insane. Like, I <laughs> mean, everybody had like tennis trucks on like 35 inch with mud grip <laughs> tires. I was like, man, like, where yeah. do we come to a mud pit? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's nah, a whole was, different lifestyle, yeah, man. Yeah, it, oh, yeah, it, it is. Crazy. But you know, um, we dropped that and then, you know, actually, label started calling. Mm hmm. You know what I'm saying? And um, in Jan it was like January, February. So like we had like several labels meeting. Like we was to be honest, like we was in New York like two, three times a month. You know, yeah. for like wow. like two, three months in a row. Yes. And um, so it really came to the point where once we dropped it, it was like um, like you know, is it a gimmick or can he really? You know what I'm saying? Like put yeah. out more music. You yeah. feel me? So um. We put out more music, and then we was like, okay, well, we can go on and do the hip hop album. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So that's how like the whole thing of the hip hop album kind of came came, you know, to form. It's like let's just drop an album, let let people know that hey, like you are versatile, like you can do just more than one thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's the problem. Once yeah. one record blows up, they just stick you to and that. And then we had Facts, we had yeah. another one, like uh, Big Boom came right after that. Mm -hmm. um, we had Firefly that came right after that. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So like those those, those tracks did pretty good. You know, I've seen a million, million you know, yeah. you know yeah. they're getting, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so, um, and then like I say, you know, we was actually strategy was like the follow-up song. You know what I'm saying? Like we're gonna switch back, right? Yeah. So same same concept. Like he did the same thing, same means, you know what I'm saying? And it, it blew up. So, Strategy, I, yeah, that record's fun. Yeah. Fine. That's a so, different that's a whole different route too. <laughs> that LeBron J hold on, I gotta talk about LeBron James line, man. <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You see, I tried to skip over that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I ain't letting that shit fly, man. Uh, hey man, LeBron's the like, Go. Oh, that's me, my favorite player. I, I don't. I don't. Michael Jordan is cool, but LeBron yeah. is, to me is you know the greatest of all time. Man, everything yeah. he do, everything. Yeah. You know, yeah. Especially with assists. He's to, to be scoring a leading and scoring, and then to have assists in top ten too. He's top five in scoring, number three, I think. Right. Yeah. And then top ten in assists. It's in pot like that's that's never been done before. Yeah. So LeBron, but you have a line in there. Let me go word for word. <laughs> like LeBron James, your mixtape flopping. <laughs> Man, come, on, Love, come on, man! Everybody know he flops, man. Nah, he bro. Flops, nah, man. I, I mean, he, sometimes here and there. Yeah, but CP3, no, that's the worst. Chris Paul, yeah. Nah, man. He he's the ten times when it comes to him. I saw <laughs> yeah. him just in a. What was the game he was playing with the, the Lakers? Yeah, this past couple like a week ago. Man, flopping like crazy, man. Nobody even touched him, bro. Man, LeBron, man. like you can put your pinky on him. He like <laughs> I know he yeah. had like two eighty five <laughs> built like crazy. Like, yeah. Come so. on, man. yeah. You know, nobody falling like that. He huge, bro. He does got some pretty bad ones, I ain't gonna lie, bro. <laughs> yeah, sometimes, yeah. Okay. You drop the record Kobe too. Yeah. Uh were you you know, were you is Kobe one of your favorites too? Man, come on, man. You know, every Growing time up? you throw some garbage in the garbage, like Kobe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody said that, man. <laughs> Where were you when, when you heard of his passing? Because I know I can remember usually when it's somebody that that caliber, when somebody passes, I know exactly where I was. And I was out eating in a business meeting. I was at a restaurant uh, locally to me up in Lawrenceville. And yeah, my friend just shows me TMZ pass. I was like, damn, that's crazy. I didn't even believe it. Yeah, I was at home and I seen it on TMZ. I'm like, oh, that's fake. Yeah, TMZ. TMZ yeah, that's yeah. Right. yeah. I'm like, like, that's fake. I ain't even worrying about it. Yeah, nah, man. TMZ, man, they be, they be so disrespectful. The shit, yeah. man. It's like, damn, man. <laughs> Let the family Why find out that? first. Yeah, you know, yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. jeez, yeah. man. But yeah, yeah, I had the same reaction with the TMZ, and then I saw it all over Twitter. Yeah. And then I'm another like, friend hits me up, and he's like, "Look, dude, from a different source, I can't remember, but I was like, what? The? And then I actually texted you too. I was like. <laughs> 
Oh my god! Because yeah, usually I'm up, you know I'm up on this stuff and I'm like you know I'm checking sources and I'm like let's yeah. see what this is about and then yeah. and then we hear the daughter and it's man that's, oh, that man. Was, yeah it's Kobe crazy. was to me like you know obviously I love Tracy McGrady that was my favorite basketball player right. Tracy mm-hmm. was just man if he didn't have that back injury he would have had a championship at least one or two yeah, yeah. that yeah. back injury with Yao Ming too you know kind of went all right but yeah that that record's hard too the Kobe record I like that a lot appreciate that oh, man. Yeah. Speaking of the deals that you did and, you know, not knowing the YouTube aspect, what is one area that you would tell yourself, you know, your earlier self before you got into this? Uh, you know, when you drop songs, expect them to blow up. Yeah. Like, put them on your own channel. That's important. Because yeah. you, you, mm-hmm. when you have something hot, these people to reach out to you and be like, do we have permission to post your song on my channel? You know, you thinking, oh, they got all these subscribers. I'm going to get a lot of views. Yeah. But it's not about the channel. It's about the content. So. You can post it on your channel with 37 subscribers and you get 20 million views. Look at all those subscribers you're going to get. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's, I never heard that from an artist, man. Artists don't even realize that shit. No, they don't, man. The YouTube aspect, I keep telling them all the time. Like, you guys can build your own brand on YouTube, man. You don't need no other channel. You don't need any, anything else. Just be consistent. Know what you're doing. Obviously, be on top of things. Yeah. And, you know, you got him, so he's going to make sure everything going good. Law's out here doing it. So, yeah. Yeah. YouTube is, yeah, the platform there is insane. But um, then you got the new album, Double or Nothing, dropping tomorrow. Oh, yeah. EP. I like to use technical term. <laughs> EP. EP. How many tracks are we looking at? Are there going to be features or? Eight. Eight, eight tracks. tracks. And I got. Um, well, yeah, eight. Then the ninth one is the bonus track for Strategy. Yeah. Strategy. Oh, okay. It's great, Raw, no features. Yeah. No features. No, no actually. I'm two tripping. features from two the same features, person. Two features person, yeah so. yeah. so do you like to work with other artists much or? Yeah, I do, but. I'm just trying to show them right now, you know, I got it. You know, I can I can really flow, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I don't need no help, but on my next project, I hope to have a lot of features on it. You know, yeah. I love working with other artists. Yeah, what's the, like, do you like to be in studio with them, or is it just record sent? Because I, I like the vibe of in studio, you know. Yeah, I think I, like, I feel like. I like the vibe. Yeah. I, I definitely like the vibe because we can hop on the track and bounce off each other energy. Exactly. Like, I can help him with his verse. He helped me with mine. You know, I ain't. I don't hate behind that. Yeah, yeah, people forget that too, man. It's always too digital. Everything's, you know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. just sending records out and it doesn't, sometimes it doesn't come out, you know, as organic yeah. as when you're in the studio. And it sounds no, completely sure. different. Like the production is different. Like the sun sound off, you know what I'm saying? Engineers too. Different yeah. engineers on each record. Yeah. I hate oh, that, man. Yeah. Yeah. When I hear certain tracks and I'm hearing like the you, mixing is, know. you can just tell. Man. I hate that yeah. shit, man. That's what throws off. There's one record, I think it was G Herbo had dropped with like Chance the Rapper and like a bunch of uh, features. And Chance's verse was so Different, off. Yeah. Yeah, it was out of it. And I was like, damn, this is not, you know, th- clearly each verse was set in, yeah. you know. So, um, yeah, so that EP is dropping. Um, are you doing strategy type records? Are you going to do mix it with some of that country type records? Or are you going to do strategy type records? Strategy type records? You know, all rap, no country, no country yeah. alternative this time. I'm do straight rap just to show them that I can, you know. I ain't gotta be goofy all the time. I can yeah. I can really do music. You know what I'm yeah, versatile. Yeah. yeah, Drake. That's how Drake's. <laughs> yeah. And everybody says, you know, Drake is you know taking styles and shit, but it's it's working. It just uh, is yeah, what yeah. it is, man. That's for sure. I, you know. I feel like he's just showing homage. Yeah, because he takes it, and he he not he not only makes your record go up, but he also gives you a shout out. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's yeah. not like he's trying to take it and not put no light on you. Yeah, like he'll he'll take your record. And put some light on it. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. it'll bring a, a track back to life. Yeah, he showed. Yeah. He yeah. shared one artist. It was a Nigerian artist. I just read this article about like two days ago. He shared that artist, and three million streams came right after that share on Instagram story. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, that's that's change your life right. with, a, with a press of his finger. Bro. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 He screenshotted it and just posted on his story. Yeah, and, and it's gone. Three million people gone. just go into it. Okay. So yeah. yeah. So he does show love. That's the thing. That's important too. Yeah. So if you guys yeah. had like if, if if you had somebody take your record and a bigger artist, you know, just takes the record and shows no love, well, how would you guys, you know, because I know a lot of artists they'll either sue or they'll be like, you know what, it's from me. Here's an example. You know, because a lot of you know artists who haven't fully established themselves, they'll get records stolen from the bigger artists. Yeah. And it happens. That's just music industry is fucked like that sometimes. Because man. the mainstream sounds all the same. They got to get it from somewhere. That's why they get yeah. their juice from these local artists. Yeah. And when they do it, they be like, man, that's hard. You know what I'm saying? They'll take it. And don't nobody know because they don't listen to the local artists. You yeah. Know what I mean? And that's the fucked up part about it. Man. Yeah, and it's all about making sure that before you even like drop 
like you have the proper registration, proper codes, yeah, yeah. and everything attached. There you, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Just like you said with that YouTube channel, <laughs> he can use it and yeah, copyright. So. You get that money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, ASCAP, cap all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know, before anything come out, you know, we we make sure that you know every all the paperwork and everything is dialed in because, like to your point, like I mean. You know, you you can have a, a artist that that have like 15 million, you know, followers on Instagram. You know, they they YouTube trying to pop in, and you know we have, you know, us and we're half of that. You know what I'm saying? But people don't know because of the area that you know what I'm saying we in. Yeah. But when you have a more global artist, like take one second and hey, now you don't took the same lyrics or the same song, and now you basically making money off of a whole nother person idea. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I mean it happens. Um it it don't to me, it don't happen as much now that it did in the past. Um but it used to happen a lot. Because of know, social media. Yeah. yeah it changed it. Yeah. So yeah. but like it don't happen as much now, um, in this day and time. But I mean I, I know personally like I don't seen it happen. You know what I'm saying? So that's why before I got in the game, you know, really a lot of my my information really was about lessons, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I mean, I had to learn the hard way, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Ah, <laughs> even me on YouTube, man. <laughs> I've had shit happen. I, had, I was signed to a company, uh, Studio 71, and they were taking initially 20%, and then it went down to 10% of my revenue. Right. And they were promising sponsorship deals, all kinds of deals like this. So I was like, you know what, let me sign with them, get sponsorship deals. They didn't do shit, man. Yeah. And then when I re-up with them, the only reason I re-up is because they were like, we're going to put money up for the podcast. Right. And I was like, okay, you know, let's, they can invest in the podcast. At least I get some of my money back from what they take from the percentage. Right. They didn't do that either. They, they were like, yo, we're going to give you some bullshit ass equipment. Like these, these are mics that are at least 400. Right. They were going to give me like some $50 mics that was like the cheapest shit you can get, you know? Oh, I was man. like, man, what the fuck is this? You guys have been taking money from me for the past three years. So that's, that's one aspect of YouTube. Like when yeah. you channel, YouTube channel blows up more and more, they're going to, a lot of companies are going to be like, mm-hmm. yo, come here, do this deal. None of those, man. Just send them my way, and I'll be like, yo, don't do this fucking deal with this company. And that the only reason I signed with that company is because they signed big YouTubers, like yeah. Logan Paul and all these, you know, 15 million, 20 million subscribers. Right. So I thought they were a legit company, you know, because I do my research, just making yeah. sure. But they don't give a fuck about the smaller ones, you know. I'm, right, I'm, right, not, right. I'm not super small, but at 600,000 subscribers, that's decent. Right. Yeah. But versus 10 million, 15 million subscribers, that's a whole different ballpark. Right. Yeah. So, yeah, they, they got me on that. But you fall on your face, you get back up. and. Yeah. You know, it is what it is, you know. Yeah, for sure. That's that shit. Exactly. <laughs> Brush up all, yeah. Keep it stepping. Yeah, so that's important, man. Expecting something good, but it didn't turn out that way at all, man. <laughs> that's the business, music yeah. industry. I was watching, there's a fucking tweet. I'll never forget this tweet. There's an ant, right? There's like this video of this close-up on ants. And they were going up to this leaf. And one was like helping the other ant go up. And then the last ant was on the, like, the little like piece of, uh, wood that was there yeah. and they just went up and didn't even help the other ant the ant was like looking up and then the guy quoted it and was like this is the music industry for you <laughs> and I was like damn man yeah, for sure. that's yeah. crazy a lot gets said and then it's like you know nothing happens on the back end but that's the important part of it as long as you guys know the paperwork and shit like that cause yeah. man it's, it's fucked up seeing a lot of artists getting screwed out of contracts man I tell them like man like just read it over higher lower small things you know yeah. mm-hmm. and they don't pay attention man and it's like then they'll complain you get a lot of artists like as labels grow there's going to be always one artist that complains about money yeah my my um my advice to artists coming up man if you get a hot song and, and labels come to you make sure you pick a label that's circled around artist development because yeah. you got these you got these labels that just want to come in get money off your revenue yeah and just say fuck you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like they don't give you no budgets, nothing. They just they just put you on their brand and you get that little clout from signing, you know what I'm saying? They yeah. give you that advance. After that, they just want everything. You they know? don't care about any of that right. shit. Man. Yeah. Back end, they'll take all that man. Yeah, they just care about the advance. Like, oh, I got all this money, but five years, what you doing? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, J. Cole was rapping about that shit too. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. he's every, telling them. <laughs> every label is not for every artist. Yeah. You know Correct. what I'm saying? You gotta That's make a good way sure. of wording it. <clears throat> yeah, because, like, you know, I, um, you know, just saying, you know, we can say Warner, we can say Interscope, I mean, you know, whoever, like Universe, we can go down the list, but that same artist might be good at Interscope, but might not be good at Warner, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, it's just really just depending on, like, 
really the in house or what their development plan is for that particular artist. And like to to fly point, like at the end of the day, like if you're not with a, a label that actually, you know, support what you have going on and that can keep pushing you, you know what I'm saying? Like most time now nowadays, like labels want you already like with a foundation established and, and, and building up where they can come in and say, Hey, okay, here, like we we can help you get past that hump. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, but back in the day, like you just give like crazy deals out just just off of, you know, it was just off of GP. They just like, here, here you go. <laughs> yeah. like, you know what I'm saying? We might see it in five years, might see it in 10, you know, yeah. they weren't really tripping, but like with so many artists coming out, like it's thousand thousand artists, you know that's that's out there that have decent music, right? So they feel like they gonna take a chance unless you just blew. Some of them they just they say, hey, here go five hundred thousand, like you know we'll write this off, yeah, you know, and then they'll put you, you know, what I'm saying in the shit bucket, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. And they won't even come back to you know find you. Like they 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 know that hey, well, th- this artist might make it, but if he don't. We'll just use it as a text right off. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So we just got to be careful, like, you know, when you're dealing with, you know, different labels, you know, whether it's independent or major, you know, like to your point, just got to make sure you got the paperwork together, making sure, you know, you reading all the fine, you know, two cones, you know what I'm saying? Combing through it, read three, four Those lawyer terms, man. Like, sleep on it, you know what I'm saying? Like I don't even understand the show. I sent it to my lawyer, man. What the hell is this saying, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, because... One paragraph might read something else, and then on the next page, you know, they got a whole different clause that that contradict what the other paragraph read. So, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just really just, you know, you just got to be careful. You know, I, I know, like, at the end of the day, like, you know, it's all a business, right? So people going to do things to, to retrieve money and stuff like that. And, you know, I understand the game, but at the same time, like, as an artist, you know, I and that's my word of advice to any artist, like, just make sure that you got your paperwork together. Just make sure that you ain't making no quick decision and don't chase every dollar that come to you. You know what I'm saying? Because you can sign your life over for, for 500000 and then here it is, you know, 10 years later, you don't own none of your song, you know? And it's then sad, you don't did all that work, DMX's. you don't own nothing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. one thing I can say about Mo3, you know, rest in peace, Mo3, like rest everything speed. that – you know, he dropped, like, even, you know, the songs that he just dropped recently, like, all that going to his kids. You know what I'm saying? That's beautiful. Like, yeah. and that's, that's like, that's that's what you want. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the whole, that's, like, you know what, what pissed me off or was the sad thing was Easy e You know, when he passed, his kids still had to go back to the streets. Yeah. And we're still dealing with that lifestyle that his father worked so hard to build. Right. You know, it's like, come on, man. This guy's, this guy's built a whole empire. Yeah. Bone Thugs and Harmony sold millions upon millions of records you know right. and that's who he found as a group right all this shit and his kids are still starving in the streets it's like come on man that's 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 the fucked up part and then dmx dealing with his aspect he's got a lot of kids he's got to take care of the estate was only worth like 50 to uh, fifty thousand to a million dollars like come on man you know any records he's dropped right it's like what the fuck is going on but yep. yeah so why didn't you guys take those label deals was it because the deals the terms weren't the way you guys liked them or was it Something that you guys said, you know what, let's build this independently more. Because um, you guys said once the record blew up, you guys went to uh, meetings with labels. Right. Yeah. So, I mean, really, you know, uh, it, was, it was a couple of different, you know, labels that was on the table. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we, we was reading it or whatever. We read the contract. Trump contract, you know what I'm saying, was good. Um, we negotiated a different price, you know what I'm saying, that what they was trying to offer uh, to begin with. And, um, you know, we really just kind of, like once we offered it, it was like, do we really want to be stuck in this lane? You know what I'm saying? Because once you once you sign that, that's what they're gonna expect. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like this is what got you this shit. So you gotta continue to produce what you know. what I'm saying, got oh, you so this they only shit. saw one vision, one yeah, one lane. Yeah, but like you know, me and him knew that that wasn't you know what I'm saying what he really wanted. But at the same time, like if we would have closed out on it if they would have came back with the counter and they would have closed out on, cause like I said, the lawyer was negotiating all that, right? Mm-hmm. So if they would have came back with the counter, like we would have did it. Cause I mean, again, he was, he was a versatile artist, so he could have stayed there. But, you know, I'm kind of glad that we didn't, you no. know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, like he can be who he is as an artist, you know what I'm saying? So that's, that's, that's major to me because 
Like, we can go in, like, right now to the studio, and we ain't got to think about what we're going to drop. We're just going to drop. You know what I'm saying? You would think labels would have learned by now, man. Just <laughs> let the artists do their thing, man. Yeah. I've seen so many stories of artists that, like, especially Chameleon, I've talked to him quite a few times, and he was like, man, they would never let me be what I wanted to be. He right. was always fill this lane, do this, make riding dirty again, like make those type of records. And it's like, man, I'm not a, you know, a cop rapper just rapping right. about getting pulled over. From yeah. the cop. So it's like Mike Jones faced the same thing. You know, he, he actually, his deal was crazy. What happened to him was he, his deal was so good. He wasn't in the 360. His deal was so good that the label owed him money. They weren't expecting him to sell that many records. <laughs> so they were like trying to finesse him out the money and not give him it. So he had to sue them. And that's what derailed his career. That's, you know, if you, if you can't release music, people think you fell off. And it's like, no, nah, I didn't fall off. It's just I can't release music because of my label situation. Right. Oh, so, yeah, that's. that's Yeah, and, I mean, and they, they want certain songs on certain certain guidelines, on you know, certain restrictions. There's so much restriction when it comes down to dealing. You, know, with you would think it's over with, yeah, man, right now. Like, yeah, everything's man. flying at this right, point. Right, right. That's crazy. So, man. you know, one thing about it, though, and I can say he did go back and get his fans. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. like, even though. He went to that lane for a second. He came came back, you know, a year later and, and got his fans back on the hip hop, you know what I'm saying, of what he, he actually known for. Yeah. So like like everything everybody's gravitating to like everything that he, he's putting out and finna put out. Yeah. You know, so like I said, it's just more so just being in people's face, keep things going, you know, so it ain't no oh well he just came back with this one song or he just came back with this one album. Yeah. Like we we got a lot of we got a lot of rabbits in the head that we're gonna yeah. we're gonna let out in a minute, you know what I'm saying? So nice. I, I I ain't gonna speak on it today, but I mean, you know, people fin- people finna see real soon. Yeah, okay. the the EP is gonna be out by the time the interview drops. So people, yeah. if you guys are checking it out right now, check out the EP Double or Nothing. It's available on every single streaming platform, YouTube, and I'm sure you guys are gonna be dropping more music videos. You know, yeah, for sure. more than strategy. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. we got like. Three, we got three right now set up, and then four pending um, from the Asher EP. So, no cap. Yeah. No, I like that the artwork is professional too, because yeah. a lot of artists, man, they'll be, yeah. you know, and that's what catches the eye. People yeah. don't yeah. understand yeah. that, man. Yeah. Artwork catches the eye. You know, if you don't have good artwork, even the music's yeah, got to right. be the most important. Right. But if the artwork is there, that's what's going to at least get people to click and then, you know, and check it out. Yeah, for right. sure. Yeah, because yeah. I had those days where. I'm like, I want to listen to something new, and I click it just because the artwork's fire. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. see, that's important, man. Yeah, so, yeah, uh, the Roots Music Distribution. If you want to talk about that, uh, congratulations on the distribution deal. You guys signed it here in Atlanta today, I'm assuming. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I need- so I mean, you know, it's was, it was more so around like you know uh, artist development, like he was saying. Um, you know, I mean, it, it ain't it ain't changing nothing that we're doing. You know, we yeah. still. That's important. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like we, we still our own, you know, independent, um, you know, guys that we trying to, you know, make things happen. So it it haven't changed anything. You know what I'm saying? So um, we didn't have to sign anything in regards to hey, you know, we give you X Y Z. You know, yeah. you're gonna be tied in with us for X Y Z. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like it wasn't no no terms or nothing like that. Uh, hats off to them guys over there, man. Because uh, you know, Steve Kern, uh, Milf, you know. Um, Jason, you know, all, all those guys over there, man, they they good guys. And mm-hmm. if if you got if you got something going, you really want to, you know what I'm saying, like break yourself from what you've been doing, mm-hmm. then like they have a team of people that, you know what I'm saying, surround you from the communication aspect to the development on, you know, in, uh, Instagram or YouTube. Nice. Like, I mean, billboards, like all different things that, you know, you can That's actually dope. get placed at, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So – it's more so like a team. Like I don't even consider it being like a, a, a deal or anything like that. Yeah, it was yeah. distro, but yeah. you know I don't consider it just being like no 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 deal because like when we met them or whatever, it was, it was like family. Like they just yeah. like they took us in. Like you know it, all good energy. You know oh, what I'm yeah. saying? And it was like like I said, it was it was, it was good, man. It was all good vibes. So you know I appreciate you know all the love you know the guys show, but. Like I said, we got a lot of things in the hat, you know what I'm saying, that's finna finna take place. And, um, yeah, so like I said, we, we're going to record tomorrow, you know, the day of the EP, you know. Yeah. Probably going right. to get a couple radio interviews or whatever, too. So, yeah, yeah we got got a couple things set up, you know what I'm saying, while we out here in the A. 
And then, you know, we're going to turn up for the city, too. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Yo, uh, y'all got a show doing out tonight? Or? Oh, yeah. No, nah, no, nah, we we ain't got no show, but you know, I I know a couple of DJs or whatever um, mm-hmm. that's out here that be a different. Isn't it the something. Halloween weekend or some shit this week? Yeah, it oh, is yeah, Halloween yeah, weekend. Yeah, yeah. 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 sure it's fucking gonna be, hectic. It's gonna be lit this weekend. <laughs> you got to keep spinning. Everybody yeah. in costume. Michael Myers. <laughs> 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 I watched that new Michael Myers. But that shit was crazy. Man. That, was, that shit, the whole music on that, they killed with that too. But oh, yeah, team is important too, man. Because yeah. like Drake, I always say Drake's team. Yeah. you know that's what really got him to where he's at because. It's all his day ones. Yep. And everybody just knows their role. Nobody Thanks. gets jealous mm-hmm. of nobody. You know, yep. Yep. everybody's getting paid. Yep. And that's why it's so been rolling like the best yeah. ever. Like he's had the longest longevity. Yeah. He's got a As solid a, team. Man. Crazy. Yeah. Straight up. Oh, for real. You know, and yeah, with that team that you just pointed out, that sounds like a solid team, man. Yeah. So yeah. Definitely I mean, wish you guys luck e- on that. Everything. Yeah. Like, it, they have everything sure. in house. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So I ain't really got to reach out to, you know, different people to get something like, Real like a, a legit company, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they yeah. got they got three studios, one in Memphis, one out here, one in um, uh, Dallas. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So anytime you know we in any other areas, like go in and drop, you know. So yeah. we ain't gotta yeah. wait. Just let them know we coming. Hey, you know they'll set aside the session and go in and drop. That's For dope. Sure. Live rich yeah. cooking. Oh yeah. man, yeah. do you feel me? Yeah, yeah. 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 You yeah. just drive a Call of Duty type of record too, man. Because I think I think <laughs> attached yeah. to what's what's high at the you, moment, I that should, should be blowing yeah. up like crazy. Call man. that bitch Warzone. Yeah, Warzone. <laughs> yeah. I gotta get back on that. Man. I'm, I I'm ass shit. right now, man. Cause yeah. My KD used to be crazy, bro. I used yeah. to kill him. Yeah, I used to go crazy, but that shit hard. Now everybody good now. Yeah, yeah, I haven't even tried the new one, the Vanguard. I think it's called. I haven't. Even, yeah, I haven't even checked that out yet. Oh, I haven't yeah. either. But yeah. Been a while since we played that. <laughs> <laughs> so what? After the EP drops, uh, music video is dropping. Mm-hmm. Then what's the plan after that? Another EP? Or are we looking? Um, so what we're gonna do? Full is album. We're gonna I drop say full it. album. Yeah, yeah for album. sure. Full but we're gonna album. definitely yeah. give them some visuals. You know yeah. what I'm saying? In, in the meantime, you know don't don't saying? make the albums too long, man. I, ha- <laughs> I know. here's the thing. I, yeah. Artists, man. God bless their souls, man. But. 20, 30 records. I'm like, yeah. I can't listen to all yeah. this. And then a deluxe. Yeah. Oh, man. Going too <laughs> far. Too soon, man. I love EPs, man, because yeah. I can, it's a certain amount, you know, right. eight records, six. Right. It's enjoyable. You can enjoy it. You know, it's not too much. Mm-hmm. But then once they, I think over 15, 16, it's yeah. like, man, yeah. damn, I, I can't listen to all this. I like dropping singles, man. I think singles is the best way to go. But That's the wave, at least, honestly, yeah. for, for coming up and trying to get. The yeah, biggest yeah. records to blow up singles, you know. Yeah, but you gotta do an album though, you know, when you get established. Yeah, you know storytelling is yeah. important, man. I feel like people forget that, man. Yeah, yeah. that's why I enjoy Kendrick Lamar's records because I'm, right. I'm gonna get into storytelling on my next album for sure. Yeah, that's important, oh, man. Yeah. So th- you definitely got versatile, and if you're gonna jump into that, 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 yeah, that's important, man. That's oh, gonna. Yeah. I definitely have you been. Do you ever freestyle, or do you just you know off the dome every time, or do you write things down, or? Man, sometimes I write. And then sometimes I, I got this little note in my phone where mm-hmm. I just doodle. Like, if, I, if I'm thinking of something, I just write it down and I put it on ice. Yeah. Save it for later. Like, if I get stuck on a song, I go to my doodle notes and just fill it in with something I put right there. You Damn. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah, it's that's, like it's, it's like freestyling. But yeah. That's a good time. way of doing it until you find yeah. the right beat and shit yeah. like that. Yeah. Because yeah. sometimes yeah. people force it too, yeah, man. You can't yeah. force it because how you feel about your music is how your fans are going to feel. Exactly. So if, if you don't feel, you feel like, uh, about it, they're going to feel like, uh. Yeah. Uh. They can feel that energy. Yeah. They uh. can feel it when you ain't really, you know. Yeah. But when, once you put your heart in it and it and it's good and you feel it in yourself, they're going to feel it too. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Have you ever performed and people just haven't given the energy back? Because I know Lil Durk just recently was like, yo, I'm out of here because the, the crowd just wasn't giving the energy back. Because oh. I hate, man, people always on their phones and shit. I know. Nobody's I'm, just paying attention. You know, I don't even care. Like, if I do a show, it can be three people rocking. I'm like, yeah. man, I just gained three new fans. I'm exactly. Good, you know what I'm saying? That's a good yeah. way of looking at it. I don't care, man. I'm going to get up there and I'm going to do my thing rather than nobody dancing or one person dancing. Like, Straight everybody up. starts somewhere, man. That's J. the Cole, mentality you should have. J. Had, Cole, man. I remember he was he was tweeting. He was like, "Man, I only got 142 followers. I mean, let's get this to a thousand. And now this guy's like <laughs> skyrocketed <laughs> out of here. So everybody starts somewhere, man. I think he was mentioned in DMX concert. Oh it? yeah, man, dude, that shit was huge. No, man, we when I used to live in Iowa, yeah. uh, we had DMX show up to do a show, you know, and I get there and it's like 20 people. 
Oh my god! Yeah, so I'm Have like, you seen that concert when he had his shirt off and it was like <laughs> outside? Oh, the man. whole world was I there. Think that was the <laughs> biggest <laughs> concert I ever seen. That shit was crazy. That shit was huge. That's probably bro. the best concert yeah. I think I'm like, in the history. Damn. But yeah, man. So we were there, and then it was just like we waited like two hours, and then finally it's like forty people, bro. And it's a big, you know, gym, big venue, yeah. big venue, <laughs> you know, because it was like in a gym kind of place. Yeah. Um, and he's like, you know what, man? He was like, fuck it. I'm still going to perform for y'all. That's what I'm talking about. You know, because he came in there. He was like, what the fuck? 40 people. That's or, how I'm You know, it's like 40, 50 people. And, but he's like, fuck it. I'm still going to perform. Let's get and it. And then he yeah. said, let's get it. And, yep, that's all. Man. That's how you gain me as a fan. If you're not, like, if you yeah, just man, see, like, two, I, three people. I appreciate and you still that, rock man, out. I'd be like, man, know. he's actually trying, giving it his all. It doesn't matter. He doesn't give a fuck about what's going to rock out. Yeah. I don't yeah. care, man. I remember Future back in Iowa, too, when we were there. This is like future when um, he dropped Tony Montana, but he was dropping that Honest album, which is the second where he kind of like, you know, people were like feeling it, but not too much at the time. Yeah. And like half the place was filled, you know, right. and I was like, man, people are sleeping on future. Yeah. And then we moved to Atlanta in 2015. All I hear is yes to everywhere. Oh, bro. Whoa, <laughs> everywhere. I heard that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, no, you got to so, have patience. It's going to blow, yeah. man. It's going to blow. Yeah. It, like true story. I had um, brought an artist, you know what I'm saying, in Mississippi. And uh, it's probably like ten people there. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It was a it was a big weekend, but like a lot of people really weren't fucking with his music. But like he actually signed to a major label right now. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Damn. And I told him I was like, bro, you ain't got to perform. Like you know, it's all good. Like you know what I'm saying? Like I know you don't want to perform in front of ten people. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So I mean, you know, of course I took the L. And he was like, nah, man. Like you paid me, so like you know what I'm saying? Like I'm gonna perform. Like he performed like he was in front of like thousands and thousands of people. Like I said, he he's wow. actually signed to a major label right now. So Damn, manifestation man, yeah, too, man. Yeah, you think so. it, believe it, you actually act like you're it. Yeah. It's gonna happen, man. Yeah. I respect yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. And that's the important thing. At least, you know, you're like, fuck it, man. Who gives a shit? And that's right. exactly how it's supposed to be, man. Right, yeah. right. You can't who cares what people say to on the internet, man, you're gonna yeah. get Internet, like I said, man, trolls, all kind of, like, That's Boozy responding to, like, Lil Nas X, too. He's, like, getting yeah. trolled. And, you know, Boozy doesn't understand the internet world as much. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, like, YB fans be responding, like, yo, ratio and YB's better and so that's just, you know, that's the aspect of the internet world, man. Yeah, no, for sure. But, for sure. yeah, that's what's up, man. Uh, you, you got a state you love to perform at or anything like yeah, that? That's a, yeah, that's a good question. I think I like Texas. Texas? I like Texas, man. You can go to Texas and be a star in Texas and you can be rich. Like You don't even need <laughs> no other state, man. Yeah. <laughs> All you got is Texas. You can be rich. Yeah, Texas is you. Yeah. Texas is huge, yeah. yeah. You can perform yeah. in 120 That was actually my first man. time, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> you got to go back. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that was quick, too. We were there for like a day and a half. Yeah, that's why I said you got to go yeah, back. Yeah, I got to be back there again. Yeah, that was crazy. Nah, that's a good time. Yeah. A lot to do. Yeah, shit. That's a good question. I didn't yeah, think of yeah. that. Yeah, shit. But uh, that's it, man. Um, yeah, I can't wait to hear the next music, man. The EP, I'll check it out once it drops. Gotcha. Uh, what's? Let me get the name correctly. I always forget names and shit. Double, Double or nothing. nothing. EP dropping tomorrow. By the time the interview comes out, it will be available. Um, yeah, Strategy, the music video is out right now. Uh, and stream any other record uh, that you guys got. Uh, Strategy is actually an interesting video, too. Yeah, Scientists okay. going in there getting it. You know, you mess with any real science for <laughs> Yeah, you cook it. Hell no, I'm like, hell no. <laughs> that shit exploded. Burn my fucking finger off. Yeah. yeah. Hell no. I've always wondered, like, music videos sometimes, because I saw Dirk shoot the video, and everything was fake on the set. Yeah. yeah. You know, so I was like, I was wondering if you use a real science shit. Oh, uh, no, nah, they had the real shit in there. Like they Breaking Bad. And I'm like, hell no. <laughs> that shit might explode anything. Yeah, yeah, you mix the wrong shit in there. It's a wrap. No, yeah. it's real. It's That's dope. real, man. Yeah. No, it was, it's good stuff, though. I mean, you know, a lot of, the, I ain't going to say a lot, but some of the videos, you know what I'm saying, I actually came up with off, off the dome. No, you, know you guys are creative with so, it, too, man. That's the yeah. thing is visuals, too, they, they're important. A lot of people lack in visuals, yeah. man. They just kind of create, you know, sitting in front of a car, have a bunch of women dance around. Oh, my like, God. I'm sick of it. Yeah. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not, glad you're saying like, something. And yeah. that's the thing. You got to do things that, that's going to gravitate to attention. You know what I'm saying? Because... A lot of people just be like, no, nah, I, I ain't going to do this because I, I don't know how, you know what I'm saying, it's going to turn out. But that content might be the best content that you actually release. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it's not about, well, this ain't me. It's all about entertaining. Like, people actually is on the net. People actually, like, each and every day for entertainment. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, they wait on Shade Room to post something. They yeah. wait on World Star to post it's something. It's crazy. You man. know what I'm saying? So, like, they, they wait on people to post just yeah. for entertainment. You That's know? That's it, yeah. Like, 
you look at your phone now, it tell you how how much screen life you have, you know, in a week, your weekly yeah. screen time. So, you know, mm-hmm. it, it tell you if it's up or down, you know. So, I mean, that really tells you, like, how long you really just, like, how many people, like, even if we take a collective hours right now that's in the room and they said your weekly screen time was, you know what I'm saying, like five hours. Yeah. How many of those five hours, you know what I'm saying, today that we was all on social media? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like that's, good that's what that's way a lot of pe- a lot of people don't understand. Like the content is major. Like, you know, you gotta have the right content, you yeah. know, because people look for entertainment. Yeah. Like that's the world we live in. Like yeah. people look for entertainment. It's crazy. Yeah. Man. That guy, I don't know, Fly Rich, I was gonna ask, is there something that you wouldn't do? Like, is there like a route that you thought, you know, I was gonna do this, but nah, I'm not gonna do it. Cause I know there was one one person that blew the fuck up and this is crazy. He he had his hair like actually surgically put into his like chains. I don't know if you guys saw that article. Uh, like he had dreads, but he took out dreads and actually put chains surgically in his hair just to get coverage. Right. <laughs> Damn. That shit was crazy. Yeah. And Joe Rogan on his podcast talked about him. Yeah. You know, but I, it's, I think it's too much and sometimes right, you gotta right, right, gotta right. find like a limit, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I guarantee you that <laughs> that that there. More than just you talking about it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah like, problem. The yeah. whole world was everybody, bro. Yeah, yeah, Once he got on Joe saying. Rogan, yeah. I was like, this guy made it, man. He's yeah. skyrocketing yeah. out of here. For sure. Yeah, for that sure. shit is crazy. But, yeah, there's limits. I want to yeah. I cannot. Yeah. I cannot. <laughs> imagine. Yeah, you you know how much that shit would hurt? Just yeah. imagine. That Hell shit would, no. I cannot. Yeah, that's too much, bro. Imagine yeah. it. Oh, man. All right, thank you guys for pulling up, man. Uh, yeah, check man, out definitely. the EP, of course, Double or Nothing. Uh, what was it, eight tracks? Bonus track? Strategy yep. too. Yep. Uh, mm-hmm. Two features. One feature was it? One two features. Two features. Yeah. yeah. Check it out. And uh, thank you guys for pulling up, man. I uh, hope you guys have an amazing time in Atlanta too. Have you guys been here frequently? I know he's been here yeah, quite a few times. Time, yeah. yeah. Plenty of times. Yeah. yeah. Appreciate y'all for having us, man. You know. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead and plug in uh, you guys' Instagram, Twitter, social, all that. Gotcha, cool. man. Yeah. Look, everything the same. Fly reach double. No spaces. Let's get it. Yeah, my Instagram is silk. S I P underscore Law Five L A W Five Sip underscore Law Five And that's it, man. Thank you guys for pulling up, man. Appreciate it, man. Fly rich. Take care.